Every single investor, whether you consider yourself a growth value or income investor, or even a mix of all three, is really looking to do one thing and one thing only, make money. And hopefully after you've invested all your hard earned capital, avoided all the panic selling moments and just remain patient enough to see an actual return, you did exactly that. But now let me tell you, as a dividend investor, there was one quintessential characteristic that I totally failed to really appreciate and focus on, which was... So you're brand new to investing, or maybe you've been in the game now for quite some time and actually gained some experience with some real skin in the game, wrote off some of your losses along the way, and you're now finding yourself really straying away from all the hype stock opportunities out there, like the Get Rich by Tuesday investments, from penny stocks, meme stocks, and random crypto coins that just arouse the market every now and again, which essentially means you very well may be exactly where I'm at, focusing on high quality companies that pay dividends. Of course, it might not be the sexiest investment strategy, but heck, dividend investing, let me tell you, just works. Now, there are two approaches to dividend investing, and personally, one catches every newbie's attention before they learn what to really focus on. Now, I learned the hard way so you don't have to, but the key word here, or rather the characteristic that we all should be focused on, and one that I really failed to focus on, is growth. That's right, not yield, but growth. And trust me, I know the vast majority of dividend investors out there are all about yield. But the reality is, all too often, investors focus on immediate levels of yield. But I now know that, well, as a dividend investor, growth and sustainability are the most important factors that demand greater attention from all of us, especially during periods of economic uncertainty, like right now. Let me briefly explain, and then I'm going to actually throw three extremely growth-oriented dividend stocks at you to consider right now. So dividend growth stocks tend to be of higher quality than than those of the broader market in terms of earnings quality and leverage. You see, when a company reliably is able to boost its dividend for years or even decades, it suggests that the company has a certain amount of financial strength and discipline. And more importantly, dividend growers can typically generate more income over the span of time than stocks with a higher yield, but slower dividend growth. As you can see from a hypothetical market scenario, while yields on dividend growers may be initially lower at the start than a higher yielding stock, a growth-oriented dividend and increasing stock share price can result in stronger long-term total return, which is key for all of us. Not dividend yield, but dividend growth and total return. So what stocks now do I personally love and invest in that are absolute dividend growth powerhouses? Well, I'm happy you asked, or at least I asked for you, so we can kick into gear with United Health ticker symbol UNH up first, which is a healthcare provider within the United States offering healthcare coverage and benefit services. Of course, with the healthcare system in the United States as it is, you better believe that this is just a money printing machine, even after a rather red year for United Health, with their stock still down right now on the year in the red, trading now down by 1.3%, $515 per share, which I know many of you are thinking that's expensive, but not when you consider the big picture here and zoom out to see that United Health has skyrocketed over the last decade by 605%, which means if you invested $10,000 into United Health, we'd be talking about a total value right now, $69,856.89 in your account. Now there's plenty of options optimism on United Health right now with analysts forecasting a share price to climb up to $571.80 per share. It's almost 11% worth of upside from here, while hedge funds have been quite busy recently loading up on over 777,000 shares last quarter. Now United Health also comes in with the highest dividend yield on today's list, but that doesn't mean by any means that we're not talking about a growth oriented pick here. Dividend yield coming in at 1.63% rated very safe by Simply Safe Dividends after shelling out uninterrupted dividends for the last 31 years and growing that yield by, get this, 41% year over year for the last 20 years. But if that share price just has you caught and you can't get your mind off of it, there's plenty of growth opportunities aside from United Health, one of which is Visa, ticker symbol V, which is in the business of payment processing and payment facilitation. Now, personally, I love Visa because I would bet my entire brokerage account on the fact that we all hold a Visa card in our wallets and in knowing that Visa 
the sole business model is all about collecting fees from merchants after all of us consumers swipe our credit cards while remaining entirely out of the lending business, this is just an amazing business. While also knowing there's roughly 2.9 billion Visa credit cards being used by consumers, I'm gonna rest my case there. Or actually, before I do, I wanna have you know that if you invested $10,000 into Visa 10 years ago, total return-wise, we'd be sitting on about $50,600.39. So when I see Visa right now struggling on the year because consumers are, well, these consumer trend shifts are shifting, well, heck, it's an opportunity. Right now, we're only up nominally at 3.5% trading for $268 per share, but I like what I'm seeing. Zoom out with me to see over 426% worth of share price appreciation over the course of the last decade and should consumerism just get stronger which it will as interest rates come down analysts remain as bullish as i am here predicting over 17 percent worth of upside bringing that share price up to 314 dollars and 40 cents per share and until then we're going to get a nice 0.77 percent dividend yield that's been growing by about 18 percent year over year for the last decade now while remaining on a dividend streak here for a total of 15 years of uninterrupted growth now investors i have one more dividend juggernaut to be opportunity for you that recently I have just been all over. But before I actually share it with you, I want to share some of my personal YouTube analytics with you. More specifically, the very fact that roughly 70% of you out there are watching these videos but not actually subscribed. And my goal is to get that number down to 50% while also just growing this community to ultimately commit 100% to all of you. That means more stock ideas, macroeconomic news bites, and better masters of the market guests. So let me know that you're standing with with me and in this community by subscribing. Of course, tap on that thumbs up button while you're at it. Just lets me know that you're getting value from these videos and I'll keep producing them for you. You have no clue just how far those two actions go for me, but really all of us. Now with that, here we go with the last dividend stock opportunity on the list that you should certainly be all hyped up about and focused on Alphabet or better known as Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L, which as you know, is an internet media giant with Google accounting for the vast majority majority of the company's revenue from online ads and also swiping the number two search engine spot, which is YouTube. But with their hands in cloud services, Waymo, and just a ton of other bets to actually better our futures, well, it shouldn't be a surprise to you that Google has been soaring all year long, especially with all the AI hype. Now it's sitting at $186 per share, which means it's up 33% year to date. But just the past week, we could see it slid by about 2%. However, just zoom out with me here to see a whopping 524% appreciation rate. And as Google just maintains its little to no debt balance sheet while carving out our AI oriented futures, we can really just expect that it's going to continue to rally. And actually, I believe surpass the analyst expectations that are currently coming in at just under $200 per share at $199.32. That's almost 7% worth of upside for all of us from here. But the real positive indicator is actually the amount of bullishness from hedge funds as well. Last quarter, we saw over 6.2 million shares were purchased by Smart Money. And after just welcoming Google to the Dividend Stock Club, I'm a major fan now more than ever as Google's shelling out a 0.43% dividend yield. Now, not really factoring in much of that dividend given it doesn't really have the track record to do it, your $10,000 investment nonetheless made 10 years ago would have turned into $66,805.77. Not too shabby, but there you have them, my personal favorite dividend dividend growth stocks. Comment down below with your thoughts on all three of these picks. If you own them, if you're looking to own them, or if you have better growth oriented dividend stocks in mind. Of course, you can catch more insights right now, right here. But before you click away, be sure you're actually subscribed.